like you know this this uber eats driver he he call he calls me right i'm in the shower and he calls me he's like hey you know uh you're, you're, uh, you're first off why are you answering the phone while you're in the shower Man, I had to open the. I, well, I was knew it was him, so I opened the door. You don't have your have, Apple Watch Apple. set up, ready to go. You just hit answer, like hello, hello. No, I, I don't. I don't have an Apple Watch. So anyway, so the homeboy calls me, and he's You're like, nerd. He's Fine. like, uh, you know, hey, your, your Uber Eats is here. He took me to your back gate. He's like, you know, you need to come pick it up. And I'm like, no, dude, like you got to just drive up like two blocks, take a right, and you'll be at the front front gate. And he's like, no, I'm not doing that. And I was like, dude, like just. He's like, no, nah, I can't. I can't figure it out. He's like, GPS took me here. GPS took me here. No, 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 no. And I had to sit there for a second. I had to think to myself, right? Like, now each day of my life, I wake up and my boss says, "I need this done," and I'm like, "Done." You know, I have no fucking clue what I'm doing. I just make shit happen. I research. I pull shit out my ass. I try things until it works, and I make shit happen. Now, this is the difference between somebody that makes a healthy salary and somebody that the sky's the limit and you're an uber east driver you can't even think about how to sky's not the limit to get, huh the sky's not the limit with uber eats dude <laughs> but anyway but, keep but, going but no, keep no, going. It's, it's life in general right oh, it's the yeah. fact that like when you put time into something and when you figure out when you use your brain you get further ahead than others in life so if like you're gonna sit there and say like you know what because this app isn't gonna tell me exactly what to do fuck you i'm not coming to you I, like i'm just gonna stand right here Oh, it's I like can't a wait. bare I minimum. Wait. Like too many people, to... too many people want to do the absolute bare minimum, and they don't want to think. You know what I mean? Like well, they don't want to. They don't want to have to like. I don't know. That's necessarily true. Ch- chef, no, it talk- is true, dude. You, like you're, you're completely. Like- you're completely. You're completely. First off, okay. The like just because the guy's a new breed driver doesn't mean he's a fucking idiot. I think. I think no, number no, no. one, the angle you, you can't. The guy. Can't took, sit, you can't, the guy. No, but you can't the sit there and say like, "Hold on, I have a better salary, so I can't. This guy can't be. This guy's an idiot because he's Uber But I've had Uber drivers that go over go above and beyond sure. to make sure I, that it gets here without me ever having to contact them because they have the foresight to say you know what here let me look at this map and say oh hey if i just go straight take a right take a right boom i'm right there they didn't have to like call me and get hostile with me on the phone because they can't figure out how to get to my front door but like I, I it, just, that, it just but the it guy's just the guy's not an idiot just because he had to call you because he couldn't get into your door yes he like, is Yes, dude. in my opinion, he is. But Show. that's that's dude, that's just I mean, insane. Like that dude, guy could have like thirty deliveries right now, and he has to go bum bum bum. He his only money comes from the fucking tips. Barely gets fucking and shit I leave out of fat Uber tips. By and the he's way. just like, hey man, I'm sorry, I don't know how to get there. And, that's <laughs> the thing though, is that I leave twenty five percent tips, and it cracks me up that people expect to get good tips and, so and do the bare minimum. Huh? You're so impatient. <laughs> I am because I used to work in the service industry, so I've, yeah, I've I been know, on the other side I mean, of it. I feel you, so it's like I don't it. have as much sympathy for it because I used to get like the the whole like if you're if like we want service and we want it now, no, 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 no. and I got drilled with that for like a decade of my life, and so I, I guess you're right. I do have less sympathy for other I, I think, people when I it comes think you to that. Got, uh, yeah, man. I think, chef. I like you a lot. I don't mean this to be rude. I think you need to have more patience with people, man. I think you get really and you all these rants build it see, down to you being very really patient with people. Is that why is it that I need to have more patience for other people, but nobody needs to have more patience for me? How do you know that? The, <laughs> for, that's not because what I'm, I'm because I'm a very because I piss a lot of people off, and I, because because of the fact that I call them out on things that they don't want to hear, but and then they know, in turn tell me things like, "Oh well, you're this, this." That's and what I'm that. saying. I just huh? think all these rants boil down to, well, this idiot did that. And that idiot did this. I think, you know, man, it's it, people, that guy could be having a rough day. You're probably going to find your door. The point wasn't he had like 30, trying he to had call 30 other idiot. deliveries. It, it really wasn't truly really a call him an idiot so much as it was, is to try to say that like too many people in the world right now don't want to take an extra step to just do something on their own. They want to be like everything to be handed to them. And they like they don't want to like use their brain to think and take it's critical thinking. It's like two ste- two extra steps that the guy had to take, and he could have made himself look like a, a better worker, or he could have like completed the job without having to interrupt somebody else's day, which is the whole point of an entire service. Like you don't, I don't know. Like it's just funny to me, but I guess yeah, I'm the, not, the minority there. I'm just saying. I think uh, that dude's probably got a rough enough time as it's going on. I don't, you know, probably not an idiot. You know, that's all I'm saying. I think it's a little, I just think it's a little harsh. That's all. I think he's but. an idiot. <laughs> yeah. It's a, this is a funny way to start this off. Yeah. All I'm going to say is Jesus preaches patience, kindness, love thy neighbor. That's all I'm going to say. You know what? 
I, I, I lost I lost I lost my page. Oh man, I, I could go on and on and on about whoever how... is patient has great understanding, but one who is quick tempered displays folly. Proverbs fourteen twenty nine. What's up, uh, everybody? It, Welcome it, to the Overachievers Gaming Podcast. I'm your host, Vash, joined as always by Ash Pastrami and Chef Krondo. Uh, I was originally, I started that five minutes in. I don't know if I'm going to post that to the podcast or not. That was actually, that was a pretty funny rant. And so I think, um, I think rants, I think when we, when we rant on something, we sometimes have to take a nice big breath and cool. That's all I'm saying. Just, I just want, I just want, I don't want you to have an early heart attack, Chef. That's all. <laughs> I don't want your blood pressure to go over. I don't yeah, want you got to save that for Elden Ring. You, you Man, got enough of that I World of Warcraft and Elden Ring. Elden Ring. That's all. I, I would. I, I have not been able to play enough Elden Ring. I can tell you that right now. That, that's probably my problem in life. This yeah. podcast is going to be. I mean, in reality, this podcast is going to be. Besides our our our, our rant on patience, is going to be you two talking about Elden Ring while I sit here and, and build Warhammer models. I actually don't have a lot to talk about Elden Ring. I do. Well, that, I mean, talk about that. that's like. You two need to be the con- the the conversationists with it because I don't know anything about it, and we were supposed to do it last week. Are you I mean, are you okay? I, for by all, the way, for all, for all intents and purposes, I stopped playing Elden Ring to play. Uh, well, actually, I stopped playing Elden Ring for a while because I couldn't even get out of my bed to like sit up to play video games for like a full week. And you're alive now, but um, I am kind of alive. I Is I can, your back I can okay? Move. Huh? Your back's okay though. I have a slip disc. Do you have a slip disc? Yeah. So what does that entail? What do you have to do? What does um, that mean? Basically, how do you, like how do you I, get better. I, I don't how do you know. unslip well, it. Well, I need to. I need to ask God for better genetics. Um, because my back is like, I, you know, I'm talking about patience. Um, <laughs> uh, I went to see a it all comes back around. It all comes well, back chiropr- around. I, I went to a chiropractor to check out my back, and it's like, you know, I feel like. I don't know. I feel like South Florida chiropractors are the. What do they call those? The, there's going to be like a, a name for doctors that like they try to like point out things that aren't there to make a bigger deal out of it. So that you have to keep coming back to them to spend money over and over again. Like it's a whole scam thing. Well, these guys, not every chiropractor does that. The like a lot of the ones down here in South Florida, they do that. They're like, I mean, oh, you need to do sense. this. You need to have this kind of crazy therapy that's going to cost thousands of dollars and we can get started now and it's like whatever, yeah, i mean you dude. know why chiropractors do that because they're i would argue like chiropractor okay i'm not trying to shit on chiropractors no you like, can shit on chiropractors that's what i'm basically trying to I avoid think, doing because i didn't want to get i didn't want to get trouble again for uh for telling people they're idiots <laughs> no well i think <laughs> chiropractors and physical therapists are both great professions yeah but they approach problems in a way that is not surgical so Mm-hmm. When you approach it that way, it's, hey, you're going to have to work out in this specific exercise for the rest of your life to get better. Yeah. And you're like, okay, that I guess that's okay. I, I'll do that. But what does that mean? Well, you have to come back here every two weeks. You have to buy these exercise bands. You have to do this and that and the other thing where it's like, okay, I'm going to go to orthopedic. I'm like, oh, we're going to do this quick surgery. You're good. You know, that, that's yeah. that's why it seems like that because they're not doing surgery. They're, well, they're, they're like, like cracking yeah. shit. They're, do, they're moving stuff. They're do, and then, oh, also come back a lot to fix it. Yeah, well, I mean, I went, I went there, and they're like subscription you know, oh, based you've model. Got a, you've got yes. this, and now you got a curved spine. You have like low, you have early signs of scoliosis. We can correct all of this with you know, no, 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 no. And then I go to my, you know, I go to a an actual like uh, orthopedic, like no, yeah, sports clinic or whatever. And I got the X rays taken, and they were like, yeah, dude, you had a slip disc in L seven, I think it was, and you, ba- and, you know, you, <laughs> you kind of just have to ride it out. And, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, I think it was like, it's like L6 or L7. I can't remember which one it was. Yeah, but, it'd be the S thing. Cause I have L4, L5, S1, which is the L5 is the last one. Yeah. Um, it was wherever it was like the very tail end of the spine. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. So it was like a very minor infraction. And so, uh, 
Yeah. They, they said you just need to basically, you know, start going to the pool, doing some kick around with some doggy paddles, you know, start building up the strength in your lower back. And, uh, to, really the, the, actual, the actual thing you got to do is just lift heavy things in a quick jerking motion. Right, right. While you bend over really good. Yeah, I was thinking the first the first natural recourse to go join a CrossFit gym and start Number one. You know, trying to max out on deadlifts. Yeah, right, that's, that's exactly, actually, that is the first thing. That's exactly how I, I, sl- I heard hernia in my discs <laughs> as well. So it's funny you say that. So. Yeah, I figured, you know, since I have no patience and I just want to call people idiots, I figured I'd join a CrossFit gym. Oh, are you going to take this to heart now? Are you going to be defensive? <laughs> no, 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 no. Is that really going to do? Actually, I was, I was jabbing at uh, at CrossFit people because every time I go to, I, I've been to two CrossFit gyms in my whole life, and they were always they're the kind of gyms you go into, and people I have, oh, you know, I have the, I have this, this like start up opinions about things of course well the whole you have thing, opinions right? about things like you know how people do their pull ups in CrossFit how they like swing like up and down well like, they're, they're do not doing pull they're not doing pull ups what are they called nothing okay it's not, yeah it's not so, a thing right 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 right, right, right. so so the two ty- two times i've ever been to a crossfit gym they were doing those swing pull sh- pull up shits yeah and i'm like the kind of person when i do pull up i want to go one it's a real pull up two it's a real pull up yeah exactly you do a real pull up so that you're you don't destroy your freaking rotator cup in your shoulder while you're swinging around like a like a chimpanzee on a on a jungle gym and doing nothing for your arms and so like, I, like the whoever the, the little instructor was or whatever was like, do this. And I'm like, dude, those are pull ups, man. And he's like, bro, you, what do you know about this? You gotta, 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 gotta. It's, like, uh, it's, it's funny. You're talking about patience. It's like, dude, like flipped out on me and kicked me out of his gym. And I just I have this like very negative uh, uh, idea of who like CrossFit gyms are. They're very like hostile environments and for my experience. But um, how did we get started on CrossFit gyms? I don't know. Back. You want to my back. Right? Back doing deadlifts, going in and doing deadlifts. No, I'm just gonna go with my little pool noodle, and I'm gonna go kick around little doggy paddles, and uh, I gotta start doing like Pilates type stuff and a lot of yoga. So you can find us on Instagram at OG Podcast or Twitter is OG What do you do for my back, man? <laughs> Our website is ogpodcast.fm where you get this episode and every episode where we talk about chef's back problems, my back problems, and Dom's rotator cuff problems. Yeah, my rotator cuff's pretty good now. No, what was the thing that you were having problems with? Your arm problems? No, I mean, I got a surgery on I had surgery on that. Yeah. Well, anyway. I've had surgery every single year since I turned 30. Are you serious? Yeah. 2020. I uh, Well, 2019, I turned 30. January 2020, I get uh, two labrum repairs in my right shoulder. Fix my fix my arm. 2021, uh, I get my meniscus repaired, my right knee. 2022, I had a uh, saliva duct blockage in my lip and had to get that removed. Um, yeah, I've been every year. Mall- Mallory told me I have to have a punch card, though, if I want to start. You should. I start really banking on it. Yeah. Which is why I, I can't ever not have a job with healthcare at this point, because I am uh, literally falling apart. That's crazy. That's what happens when you're in a fucking idiot. Is that all from jujitsu? Not everything. Oh. No. The arm was... No, the, technically the arm was a snowboarding accident when I was a kid. That, I was going to say, man, painting jiu-jitsu. those Warhammer minis must be pretty intense. If you're <laughs> and then it just got worse a rotator over time. Cup. No, no, no. And the, but like the lip thing was just a freak thing. And it, so that could happen. So, you know, you have these like little, if you feel on your lip, you have these like little bubbles, like glands. Those are your like saliva ducts. And it, it could, like a freak accident, they can get uh, blocked. And, uh, it's it's painful and annoying and you can't just like pop it and it's good there's like an actual blockage somewhere the only fix is to like literally take out the saliva artery i had to have that happen it's really annoying i look like i look like an idiot my lip was like fucking massive you look like you had a dip in your mouth at all times yeah yeah actually for weeks hey my name is dami i just like hey boy i like my like my i am from pennsylvania wrangler so. jeans and my dodge ram uh, I, I am from Pennsylvania, so that makes sense. I say words like crick. Crick. It's supposed to creak. It's supposed to creak. It's a crick. Creak. Wow. That's actually. The crick. <laughs> I feel like I've heard some like great abbreviations crick, of, or variations of words. Dude. I've never heard crick before. There's a lot of funny things. Pennsylvania is a funny place. Oh, but. Crick. I could see it. I could see it, actually. So uh, I'm going to segue us into video game stuff. Oh, yeah. I guess that oh, is you, why we were you, here. You not play, just a you random play some video games? So, well, I was gone for a week in uh-huh. Austin, Texas. Right. Um, the land of barbecue and it's very great. good tacos. South by Southwest. I, I got there right 
All right, we got there the week like it ended, and we got there. That Wait, I literally you go there I planned South by Southwest. No, no, no. I planned. I had a, I had a shoot down there, and I planned the shoot so that we weren't getting in there before or during. We got there afterwards because South by Southwest is ter- like terribly insane and mm-hmm. Austin. Awesome, Austin awesome might as well not exist during the week of that time. It's just South by Southwest. It's fun. You're in South by Southwest Texas. I, I um, love Austin. It's great. Austin's cool. Austin is one of those. Charlie, you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm about to blow my nose. I didn't want to do it on the camera. <laughs> Yeah, South by Southwest uh, was one of the best uh, little like, I don't know, it's not a festival. What do you call a conference, I guess? It's like a festival, yeah. It's, yeah. it's There's it's, music, it's, there's film, there's art, there's a whole bunch of shit. I went. Um, I'm not, it's not really my dig. Like, I'm sure it's like, it's cool to be there and I'm sure it's experience, but, you know, it's not really for me. And especially like going down there for where I have to shoot, like it, that's in crazy town. So I had to do it afterwards because a lot of vendors, they're only doing South by Southwest, but like. Yeah, and it's, everything's more expensive because they all piggyback yeah. back off the fact that there's like, you know thousands of people thousands of people tens of thousands it's like yeah we also also it's a cool place the food there's really good i like most other cities in this country um after i'm there for two days i'm like this is a cool city but i want to go back to new york which is i think just still the best city so i'll be there and i'm like cool i eat the food i mean the barbecue i mean the tacos i'm done you know uh but before i went because this shoot was a week long and uh obviously i was away from home uh i built a dope mountain castle in Valheim in our server. <laughs> oh, I gotta go check it out. It's so it's not fully done yet, and it's really just the foundation because I built oh, like you a actually big reminded me I need to go re-log back into that. Anyway, I have to start. Why did to go back and re-log in? I moved the server this week to a di- to a, 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 a different room at my office. So that way is it the same is it still the same connection? Same connection. I just I, I started it up. I forgot to enable the server. So got, I it, got it, got it, got it. Talk. I'll I'll do it while we while we talk. Sure, sure. And uh I I, I the, like you know they they did some updates and the game is definitely it's like there's not like too many crazy new things but i'm i just like forgot how nice it is just to like log into a game and just like kind of zen out i'm going around trying to find some blueberries trying to get some some barley to make some flour to make some better food i'm doing this little mountain castle you know i got i got like um i'm trying to like upgrade all of like our shit cuz like a, some things are like more upgradable now it's just a, it's just a nice little game. That game is just, you know what? The fun thing too is trying to figure out how to like, because it's like the physics in it are actually pretty an, annoyingly good. Like to build this stone building, it requires a lot of support, and I I don't I'm just like kind of going willy nilly with it and like looking up videos of how to make it better, and I'm like, oh, none of, nothing I did was right. You have to actually like construct it with like foundation and props. yeah well like even so like <clears throat> you know i built the ground out of stone i built walls out of stone and then i tried to put a stone ceiling and i tried to put pillars to hold it up and it's oh, just like to let you because it's too heavy it's not do- yeah well like the stone will just crack and then fall and you have huh. to like you that's have to be like oh shit now i have to figure out cool mechanic where where is the support needed you know yeah um and i there, the where i built i built i put a portal to it to charlie so if you want to see it you can just go right to it in the basement I keep forgetting like is there combat in valheim or yeah like, it's all it's like the... it's like monsters and bosses so like there's like passive beasts in the world like wolves yeah. will attack you uh like the stuff like that and then there's also like little goblins that will attack you and they'll fucking ruin you and then there's also Uh-oh. cat meowing and then there's also uh there's also various cat meowing sign me up i'm meowing. in uh, and then there's also like a couple bosses. We still never beat the last boss in the game, but that could be done later. But now there's new like ice caves that are like new little mini dungeons that have like some stuff in them. So there's and no the, story. It's just like basically it's just, like, it's, like it's, an adult it's, version of Minecraft. It's my, yes, yes. Yeah. It's an adult version of Minecraft. 100. Yeah. percent That makes sense. Yeah, it's very it's a very fun game. It's just like it's very just chill. It's a very chill game. You and it could be unchill if you want it. But we have we have a lot of shit in it. Like we we really like loaded up in all of the the material so um the only thing that sucks is you know there's portals that get you around from your bases if you want but you can't teleport with your um like ore so if i'm building this mountain castle and i want to use like iron reinforced beams i have to go i have to teleport down to my main base put the iron in my boat and then and then sail up to that other base i can't just teleport between them because I, I got to that base by sailing to it before but i didn't know if i wanted to stay you don't bring all your shit with you because if you yeah. die all your shit stays there you know it makes uh, you like really, and it, it, it's very realistic in that sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and it, it's just a fun little deal. And so, yeah, it's, I built this. It's not like the normal video game where it's like, hey, this guy has like fifteen 
two handed weapons on him and he has a yeah. zero capacity carrying weight. And you yeah. just imagine like some dude out in the world with like 50 weapons strapped to his back. And well, it's, it's it, the way that they do that is actually pretty cute. It's like you have, you can carry 200 or like 300 things or something. Uh, and, but like, you know, an ax could take up the space of like, you know, 20 of those, of those yeah. you know, but like if you get, the some kind of like nordic belt like some kind of mystical belt you can carry more and so that's like a kind of like a little nice aesthetic way to do it it's just oh, a, it's just a fun, it's just a fun little game but um yeah building this castle there's two ice I, I built this little mountain base we're in distance of two ice caves charlie if you want to check those out too they're like around the area um yeah it's nice it's been nice to play that i'm yeah. like now that i'm back home i'm playing it again so yeah, uh, I actually, after we're done recording, I'm actually going to go to the office and I can't connect to it remotely, so something's wrong. So hopefully I can oh. log into it. I can get into my office on the weekend, so we'll see. Oh. All right, I'll, I'll take care of that later. Wait, where's so your to, office at? That's, it's like 25 minutes north of here. Oh, is it like a WeWork or something? Uh, it's a collab oh, space. Oh, cool. So, I mean, it's just like it's, I essentially use it for storage um, because it's like a storage unit around here for what I need is like, five to six hundred bucks a month yeah yeah, yeah. um Ooh, and that's what? like i i pay for oh yeah dude it's insane up here but um i have my friend of mine runs like a, a co-working space um nice. so i just rent an office from him for 250 a month oh. so it's way cheaper and I just, keep, I just keep my server stuff in there as well and i have actually electricity and internet and really fast internet so it's like nice just do that um but for some reason it's not letting me connect it just keeps uh keeps spinning if anyone Yod. wants to see it's right here see it just says Look at that! It's connecting, connecting, and then won't let me do it. So. Oh, weird. Okay. Oh well, I'll well, sorry, I'll figure it out later today. If not, I'll go there tomorrow. Um, I mean, don't 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 do it. Don't waste your off time on it. I don't need to fucking play Valheim, dude. Well, I can't. I can't see any of the other things that I have, that I'm that I keep tabs on too. So oh, got I have it. to go anyway. Got it. Got it. Got anyway. it. Got it. Well, that's that's um, my thing. That's the only video game I've been playing besides still doing Warhammer stuff. Uh, building building another army right now. My, my space clowns. I uh, Man, I've been playing too many freaking video games, and you know, not enough of the right kinds. You got you want you want to talk about what you're what you're playing, Chef? Um, oh. And then, well, my buddy and I last weekend Final Fantasy Strangers of Paradise. I want to play that. I have that. What the hell is that? Yeah, so we beat it last night. Um, basically, I want to. I'll sum it up as it is the prequel to Final Fantasy One. Oh, interesting. So uh, basically, the very well. Yeah, I don't want, I'm not gonna spoil it, but yeah, basically, well, it's yeah, do you like a, yeah, try to do like a, spo- is there a spoils free version of like, cause I, I don't, I don't, I've never no, played Final Fantasy simply, 1. It, you, it, you're, you're Jack Garland, who, if you know who Garland is, then you, you would know that that's like one of the villains in the early Got Final it. Fantasy games. Um, <clears throat> but, anyways, the game itself is pretty sick. It's like a, um, I have I have I actually have pros and cons for the game. If I had to give it a, a rating, I would have given it I, I would have given it a nine point five, except for the oh. fact that this game is designed to be a multiplayer game and there are parts of it where you have to play as one person and the game sucks asshole when they make oh, you do that. Got it. Like I'm talking like epic asshole when they make you do it. <laughs> like it goes from being really, really, really fun. To like, I want to throw this game in the trash can. Like, why did you do this to me? Interesting. Yeah, like that's it's, it's on PlayStation, I assume. You can get it on. I think. X, uh, actually, I don't know. Um, that's a good question. I, I feel like has I think it's on Xbox ever been on Xbox? PlayStation because when I was in there, the guy was asking me if I wanted it on PlayStation or Xbox. So it's got to be. Um, but okay, so basically, like, it's there's three people in your party, and think of it as like a. It's kind of like Dark Souls in a weird way, but it's not as um, it's a little bit l- more RPG ish. Sure. Um, you know, you can you can pick one of two classes. There's like 20 something different classes in the game. And uh, like you, you have two and like triangle button basically switches between the two. Mm. And so you can have like white mage and knight or like white mage and duelist or you know like sage which is the mix between white mage and black mage and you can be like casting fireballs and then you run up on something that's like you know you need to cast cure on somebody and you can just like press the r3 button and it switches over to the other spell so like they have Mm. a really good way and every class has like obviously different strengths and weaknesses like sword classes they um they'll actually 
eliminate the stagger gauge and so that like people that have like regen spells or can heal themselves they can't re like just infinitely heal themselves it's like the stat you have to like is, this, is, is it still turn based no it's like it's like oh, dark souls it's like literally a, a combat strategy game where you know you can dodge and evade things and you can is final fantasy and, not doing turn based at all anymore with the newer games? i don't know i mean this is this is furthest from t- turn based i will say though this is exponentially better than what final fantasy 7 remake was the game's great like <clears throat> sure for me for my best friend and i where he, he he's a monster final fantasy fan um uh, i i would say i'm a pretty big final fantasy fan we both had a great time with it the fact that like the storyline like everything we did together was like we weren't we were in sync for everything so they did a really good job with the uh with the co-op system actually i think that's like the i think the game was designed to be co-opt and not played by yourself and i will say this much there is no reason if anybody's listening there is zero reason to play the game on any other difficulty than story like Mm. there's literally zero reason to play the game on the hard harder difficulties the difference is insane it's like staggering oh my god like we're talking like going from playing dark souls uh sesame street edition to like <laughs> dark souls go fuck yourselves of uh, levels of like you go get hit one time edition. you're dead and it's yeah. like bro i'm like max level what are you talking about yeah yeah, yeah. and and that's and funny. i like, i threw my controller across the room and that's when i michael my friend michael's like bro he's like just just drop it down to story that's what yeah. i did he's like don't I even know i was like oh fuck that I'm, I'm a veteran of dark Souls. i could beat this shit and then like an hour later i'm nah. like fuming he's like yeah, yeah. so did you get over yourself yet like <laughs> <laughs> that's uh let's think gears of war th- 2 their insane difficulty or berserk difficulty whatever the fuck it was called yeah it's impossible you can't you couldn't do it and so what we would do is if you were playing co-op you could actually one person could be a difficulty another person could be a different difficulty right <laughs> so you'd have like if you needed berserk you'd play it the c- campaign in berserk and you'd have a friend wow. play it in beginning oh, beginner man, that's because it was too, it was too, it was too impossible. It was too, it was too fucking difficult. Like I don't give a shit how good of video it was too difficult. Now, see, here's the thing: like us playing together, we work, we we work, like absolutely roll over everything. Because like yeah. we we have like stat, we've like you know <clears throat> positioned ourselves and strategized to where like I have the strengths that uh, complement his weaknesses and vice versa. Sure. So we're able to do whatever we want now towards the end of the game they make you do a single player mission and that's where i was like f this game dude like <laughs> i yeah. just was so like why did they make you play a multiplayer game by uh, right, yourself right like right, right. why and like, it's okay <laughs> to have it like be primarily multiplayer but like if it's if you're not playing multiplayer it shouldn't be too difficult it's, that it's you can't like, play it's it. funny because like even the regular games like the regular missions bash tldr don't play the game thing. on anything other than story mode. Like, there's zero point to playing the game on anything. Except, oh, I don't, I don't got time for difficulty anymore. I no, like, like, right, the right. Thing, like, I'll put it to this way, Charlie. I just, I just summed it up for Dom. Like, playing on story mode is like playing on Dark Souls on Sesame Street level of easy, and then playing the game on action is like setting Dark Souls to hard. Like fighting your girl, uh, uh, Melinda or whatever his her Millennia. name was, Millennia on hard mode. Like whatever for whatever reason, why would you want to do that? I don't know. But that sums up action mode on Final Fantasy: Strangers of Paradise by yourself, by yourself specifically. It's like the biggest f you I've ever seen in a video uh, game. They're like, you ain't got no friends. Well, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's you're, kind of what it feels like they were doing because you're a loser. You, because you, the problem is, is that your 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 teammates die like right. instantly every two seconds, and you have five. Oh, you mean like, like the bots or something? Yeah, your AI. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, I swear to God, they will literally run in head first, get killed. And you're like, dude, could well, you not do that, please? I, I guess it's resin. Done. <laughs> yeah. And they're just like dead resin yeah. dead. And you're like, ah, ah, can I even like go swing my fucking weapon at somebody, please? Like Jesus. Yeah, it, yeah. it was. It was. Can you can you hear the frustration in my voice of like you? You just relived like a very a snippet of me for like two hours on Friday night. I mean, have you beat it? Is it done? <laughs> oh yeah. We beat the game. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then when you beat the game, it unlocks chaos mode and it uh, like actually opens up the map and your job levels all expand to level 55 instead of the max, which is 30. And you can go and do the missions again, which we started to do because you can do them co-op style and we were having fun again, you know? So yeah. it was like, again, game, I would give it like a easily like an 8.2, 8.5 story is great. 
Like, that's the one thing I will say about the game is that the storyline was the best part. Like, just sitting back and watching the visuals and kind of, like, learning how Final Fantasy started to begin with. Like, that was actually pretty dope, if you ask me. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the trophy list for it right now because I will be I will be playing it. I have yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, already, I'm already I'm already almost at platinum. Uh, you have to beat it at chaos difficulty. Yeah, we've 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 already been we've been talking about it. That's Fuck. that's he he and I have been like sketching out what classes we're gonna roll so we can make it easy. Well, if that's the case, and I get to that point, I'm gonna because I'll play it solo and then I get the chaos. I hit you up and then we can. You can help You'll me. probably uh, have to, honest to God. Like that's actually what my friend and I were talking about. Is like we wanted to know what the game was like with three people because I think I truly think it was designed to be played by three people because you can't switch classes on the ai characters and that's like one of the most important features of the game is being able to juggle jobs and like having the strength having like the the ability to counter your opponent and have a support class at the same time so like Mm. when you're missing that other component it really hinders like what you can do but anyways a great game i I, it it kind of caught me by surprise because it's not a uh it's it's not final fantasy 16 which is you know what most people are ready for and if this is like anything like the combat from 16 i'm super into it because it was a lot of fun yeah i'm looking forward to getting into it but i'm at the moment just trying to finish um horizon forbidden west so it's not a long game either like storyline i'd say like easily like if you're gonna play the just storyline on story mm-hmm. mode um it'll take you like 20 30 hours to beat it okay easily because i mean i think for us it was like 30 or 40 and we played it on action and <laughs> Well, we got to the end and we realized that there was no difference in the uh, the drops for action and story. We were both just like kind of face palming. Like, why did we make it harder on ourselves? <sighs> but, um, you know, it is what it is for for the for the glory. Dude. Yeah. For the glory of knowing that we are true Final Fantasy adventurers. <laughs> right, exactly. The true, the true warriors of light. Um, so you, otherwise, you do you give it a glowing review. Yeah, definitely. Right, Better, yeah. Best Final Fantasy game they've come out with since uh, that's high praise. Thirteen, I guess. Yeah, well, they've all sucked. Fifteen yeah. was garbage. Fourteen, fourteen's good, but I mean, it's I still, are people still playing Final Fantasy online or whatever? Yes. The, whatever. The Thirteen MMO was. was good. Which which one? Eleven or fourteen? Wait, there's two MMOs. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Eleven was the original one that came out, and that was that was that, that was, was like that, like that came out like fifteen years ago. Yeah, oh no, sorry, like, no, I'm talking about the latest one. Uh, and Walker like, that came Final Fantasy 14 and Walker. Oh, yeah. no, no, no. you talking about like the latest Final Fantasy in the series or the no, MMO? the latest like MMO, the, the Final yeah, Fantasy and Walker. It's Got doing it. okay, like it's it's actually there. They are not as hype right now as they were, um, a couple months ago. Like mm. the hype has definitely died down on Fincher. Sure. Once, once Lost Art came out, they kind of lost a lot of their a lot of their steam, but yeah, it's kind of, I gotta be honest, man, like the MMO world is kind of up in arms right now like or uh, i mean i guess like the king spot could be is up for the taking because i you know i watch like asmund gold and you know all these like top you know mmo streamers or whatever and right now it seems like there's a huge a lot of lost arts up it seems all three games are hemorrhaging players like it just seems like people are really fed up with all of this shit and it's it's i i it is definitely I, that is one space where some game studio, there's a lot of room for, there's a lot of unhappy people out there for some game studio to snatch up. I can, I can well, say that much. I personally am, and I, I'm actually, I posted this in our chat, and I'm, I'm very curious to see if anyone actually dived into it. Uh, there's a new expansion for Guild Wars 2. Oh, I looked at it. Coming yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I looked at it. Yeah. But if Guild Wars, if they make a Guild Wars 3, which they obviously are, I mean, it's, it's no contest. Yeah. Because Guild Wars 2 is 15 it. years old at this point. Yeah. Uh, or actually, it's ten years old. Um, or is it? I think it's ten years old. Uh, it might be a little bit. Older than no, that. it is. It, is it came. Played. It came out the year we met, and that was twenty twelve. That's yeah. a game I've never played, and I've always wanted it's to try. It's it. super. Great game. It's honestly, it's one of the best. It's great one game. of the best MMOs I've ever played in my entire yeah, life. And hard, it's hard fun, agree. Phenomenal, but it's a little dated. It's, it's really dated. dated. But yeah, yeah, at the time though, but I like was, dated games. <laughs> it was. It was. There's no. There's no monthly fee. Yeah, it's great. Right, it, right, at right. the time, though, that shit was a, a, a dude. Do you remember the the faction wars with the castles and everything? Like, oh my god, yeah, that was that, so yeah. much fun. That was so much fun. The yeah, story was, was awesome. Classes were great. Very weird classes, which were fun. Yeah, and and they're each they're all tied to weapons, so your abilities are you know pretty much the same if you pick up a different weapon. But like you can 
change the way those weapons work with with skills and ability in your skill tree. But the thing that made Guild Wars 2 super fun, like immediately out of the gate, is if you wanted to play a level one mage, you can go right into the arena PvP and everyone's the same level. It's like level yeah. six, le- level 60, maxed out all your abilities. You just customize how you want to play. And you all have the same armor and it's all skill based when it's oh, so much fun. They did, they did that so right, which is fantastic. Yeah. But if they come out and kill it with a Guild Wars 3, I mean, I'll play Guild Wars 3. I'm not going to play Guild Wars 2 at the moment just because like I'm not yeah. going to drop 60, bu- 60 bucks on an expansion on 10 year old game. For sure. Like, I, I really, yeah. I really wish that Microsoft would do. I've, I've, I've heard people joke about it or meme about it, but a, Star, uh, a Starcraft MMO, I think would be so cool. Like that, like the Star. Starcraft universe is massive. It's tight. Yeah. It's really tight. I remember, well, I remember it's funny. There was, you know, in Starcraft two, the custom, the custom game section of the arcade is very deep. And someone made a Starcraft MMO in the Starcraft two. Did they really custom arcade? Yeah. yeah. Dude. Yeah. You could do crazy stuff in the arcade of Starcraft two. And uh, they made it. And it was awesome and i was like man i just wish this was a thing always i wish this was a real thing you gotta kind of I mean, you gotta kind of think that like you know lee spawned from dude Do- like, yeah dota dota yeah. dota came from warcraft 3 custom arcade yep and here's the storm came from starcraft 2's custom arcade i, I mean the moba genre those, in general like, starcraft games like back in the day they just have those custom games where it was oh, like dude so was, stupid like, dragon ball z super yep. saiyan yep. like you can- dude i st- Dude, I still fucking play those. They were great. And they Brew were War. Absolutely I have great. I have Brew War remastered. Yep. I still yep. do it. I still go into the the and and do like fucking uh like marine horde mode and like all those stupid. It was yeah, awesome. My favorite yeah. was one called uh Diplomacy. I used to love playing Diplomacy in StarCraft Brew War. Like you start out at level one and the map is all hidden and it's like they, they kind of make it almost like an RPG in this in I mean, a sense where it, you gotta kind of like the the people got so crazy in the custom the custom arcade of StarCraft like and Warcraft too. Yeah. Um. Sorry, OSU. This was my fault. I asked for a 10 a.m. start because I would like to work out today. That's yeah. They well, it actually works out because now I gotta go. Today. I gotta go to the office now, and then I'll, also I have to go. I have to finish doing you know clearing out my house of flood stuff. So are you almost done? How's it going? Nope. I filled up a 10 uh, cubit f- 10 a 15 foot a 10 a 15 cubic foot dumpster and i haven't even gotten halfway through I got said, it so well i'm leaving for la this week anyway so it'd be fine what are you doing josh nothing <laughs> what are you doing i heard we just heard something that's either like your, a cat toy or something nothing oh <laughs> just getting ready for the day but anyway, so uh, I'm looking forward to uh, no, I'm I'm ripping out all the stuff from the flood that happened back in September. Finally, getting around to it. I've had that's how long it's taken me uh, yeah. because I'm not insurance not paying for anything, so I have to do it myself, and I'm not paying for anyone to do it for me. I'm just going to do it myself. Yeah, so, that's fair. Just sucks. Yeah. Um, I just have to rip everything out. It's just taking a lot longer than I anticipated. So and it cuts into your time. video game time, dude. Tell me, how's GT Seven? GT Seven's great. Uh, I was playing that yesterday for a hot minute, so I re I, I moved my entire like theater setup to a different part of my basement and just kind of like set up like a quick like put it on the wall with the projector or whatever. Um, then the the thing about playing because I have like the whole like you know um, controller set up now. Yeah, I think it was um, sick. It was dude. it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was yeah. awesome, but like the problem with it is like you're you're looking like this up at the <laughs> up at the. Um, like yeah. me right TV now with my monitors. Yeah, but I can't. Um, I can't. I can't do that for long p- periods of time. So I put it downstairs where, like, I have like it's like literally like a ten foot wall of of the game. It's a lot of fun. It's super immersive, especially with like all the surround sound going on. That's you know, I have the whole shifter and everything. Uh, super fun. Uh, I'm a big fan of that. I'm just you know, I'm using that as kind of like my. Uh, I just need to chill and do some have some fun with racing. Yeah. Um, you know, those matches are like five to you know five to seven minute races and it's just like the time goes by super fast (laughs) i remember one night i saw you get on uh discord and you were like i need a a less challenging game than elden ring and (laughs) that's so funny because i feel like i always have one game that i can play where it's like completely brain off you know like usually that's a psp game or something and then i'm always playing one that like requires so much attention and, and and focus yeah 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 that's kind of that's why I had to take that's like why I had to take time off from Elden Ring. It's like that game yeah. is so intense, you know. 
Yeah, tell me. I mean, tell me about it. I, I, I. So I finished it. I got my platinum. You owe me sixty bucks, by the way. My yeah, at, well, I'm yeah, at hold bash. On, hold on. Do I have to Venmo you live on on? Oh, yes, let's do oh it. That God, was the agreement. Now, the, the, I was going to do it a, a twofer. Uh, we talked about this last time when you weren't here. I was going to be like, I was going to finish Resident Evil Eight as well at the Man, same get time. Get out of here, dude! I tried. Get out. I look, tried. Look this guy. Look I this guy. gave it a yeah, good he's, time. Now he's now he's just. Now he's, he's just trying to steal flexing, my money. He's now he's flexing now. on me. But he's the thing was, to, he's flexing and he's trying to take my money. Exactly, one hundred percent. Well, I mean, a deal's hey, a deal. Yeah, exactly, one hundred percent. Trying to abuse uh, my platinum trophy skills. Uh, but I tried doing it again. I was just like, no, this is not happening. I tried doing the arcade thing again. I did it twice. I was like, nope, not doing this. <laughs> this this still still Do I have sucks. To suffer through it to get my money back. Like, damn. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean, not maybe. worth it to me. It's not worth it to me at all. God, Come off those Rondo bucks, exactly. exactly. That's why I don't Rondo make bets bucks. with people. You know, the only person I make bets with is with Mallory, because Mallory is always right, and this is not a joke. I'm not being a, sh- a shithead. Mallory, this is my partner, everyone, is smarter than me, knows more than me, and just better than me in every way. And that's fine. I've accepted these things. I totally accept it. But when I'm right, I know that I'm right. And Mallory would be like, no, 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 I know this. I'm like, no, 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 no. I will bet you $20. Never if I never because I only do it when I fucking know it. I know for a fact that what I'm saying is right. So be like, all right, baby, twenty bucks. Bet. And then she's right. And no, I'm right. No, I get the money. No, no, no. I don't play that game. I'm not betting against someone I know is smarter than me unless I know that I'm right. Ain't lost that bet yet. That's Fair where enough. that was going. Sorry. Go back Fair to right. paying each other. Uh <laughs> stroking their platinum egos. Yeah. Uh I mean it was just that was just a bet and whatnot. So but yeah, uh, yeah. Is it done? <laughs> I can't even see what it says. Can't even see what it says. The screen won't. The screen won't focus on it. I'm sure it's funny. Something it. would ring. Okay. I see a You're ring. You're Charlie Anderson, right? Yes, at Vash. Oh, sorry, I guess it should stop. It doesn't, doesn't matter. Same. same All you have to do is follow his Instagram, and you'll know it. I, actually, no, I don't have that name. In, oh, you in, don't? Yeah, I want to make sure Vash this anymore. is you on Venmo, right? Yeah, at Vash is the same. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Um, I don't know what we were talking about. Elden Ring, I guess. Yeah, anyway, you playing yeah. that game? Though? Okay. You done it? See. No. Your boy. Oh, look at that! Holds it's done. his bets. Okay. <laughs> Beating me to platinum in Elden here, Ring. Okay, Chef Cro- uh, Chef Sleepy Land. Okay. Uh, I should do. A, I should do a long con bet and 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 bet Charlie that one day I'll I'll play Dark Souls and then like in forty years we're old yeah. as fuck and be like Charlie, you owe me twenty dollars. <laughs> Can I tell you the best bet I ever made in my life? The bet, the only time. So I'm terrible at gambling and betting, as you can see. I lost bet. Uh, I've already lost two actually, the Resident Evil one and this one. But like I, the only time I've ever made a good bet was I think it was like two thousand four or five the when the Celtics, the Boston Celtics picked up like ray allen kevin garnett and somebody else i can't remember but i just they were like a super team and i remember it was the very beginning of the season and i told my friend who was a bookie i was like yo what's the what's the bet on like that the the celtics win the championship this year you know and he's like oh the odds are like a thousand to one i was like cool let me put a thousand dollars on get this. the or hundred bucks out of here this. and so they ended up winning that year and i ended up winning i think like, it was like a thousand or ten i can't remember it was but it, it I won like a lot of money and I, it was, dude, he, my friend was so mad because he's like, yeah, I'll take you on that. That's never going to happen, you know? And then like, I heard we were sitting at the bar for the final game and I was just like, pay it up, pay it up. Let's go. If you put a hundred bucks down on that, it's like 10 grand. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, it was not a joke. Yeah. Well, we, we used to make, we, we were submitting, I mean, do P, I, I feel like when you are a sports gambler, it's a slippery slope, man. Like that, that, that is gambling in it. general. Well, yeah, yeah. gambling is a crazy thing. I, we we had a shoot not too long ago in Seattle. We were staying at a Native American casino, and I went downstairs with thirty bucks at the blackjack table, and I walked away with three fifty. Oh, I was gonna say gone oh, no. instantly. No, I walked away with three fifty, and I was like, "Well, this is really fun. I should not do this anymore because I actually have money." And yeah, yeah, I'm I'm just I'm good. Uh, yeah, it's like I was like I just plan on losing thirty dollars, and instead yeah. it, it ended up being the opposite. And I was like, okay, uh, I can see how this is addicting because all I want to do is sit here and keep putting this money on. Gambling's fucking crazy. It's that it's that it's that dopamine high of like, yes, give me, I won, and then you lose, and you're like, I gotta get it back, gotta get it back, gotta get it back, and then you get it back, and you're like, oh, 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 wait, wait, but I could, I could, I could like double it up again, and, and then it's the slippery slope back down. And yeah. you go and I'm you going. walk to the ATM, and then you're like, "Oh no!" Yeah, I'm going to Vegas in a, uh, in April for a conference, and I'm just like not not playing do it. anything, not doing anything. I'm I'm gonna if anything, I'll play roulette because like I can I can stretch out 
100 bucks at roulette a lot longer than I can. So. And roulette? Yeah. Easy. Dude, I'm, I'm all in or different side on roulette. No, I can't blackjack's the one. If I'm going to grind out something, I love I'm, just on a, I'm just not good at blackjack. I, I love can't. blackjack. But I can, for some I can reason, see how it's addicting. I yeah. love it. Blackjack's so much fun. It, I really yeah. enjoy it. I, 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 yeah. The problem is, like, there's no like $5 tables. They're all like $20 tables. That's oh, the that's not fun. No, no, yeah. no. no, no. So you got to get, like, get like a $5 table or a full yeah. $1 it's like, table. Yeah. Uh, one dollar that doesn't exist come on inflation come on i guess the, yeah. i mean the last, all time I the last time i went to a casino was like pff, 10 there years ago there were five dollar yeah. tables yeah, actually at, yeah. at this casino and it was really nice and, five dollar tables are where it's at man and you just sit there all day long just have that's fun. where you, you also you usually know you're gonna find the fun people because the serious gamblers are at the 25 dollar up table and they'll get pissed off at you if you like you know, it, like, let's say you like split a deck or something or you like make certain moves. They'll get really mad at you. And it's it's not fun at that point, you know? Yeah, they ain't got time for that stress. But no, I guess anyway, I got to um, stress, stress myself out about Elden, Elden Ring. Ring and things yeah. like that. You know, like World of Warcraft, 20 year old game. Yeah. Well, speaking of. So, yeah, I did finish Elden Ring. Um, not still playing it. I put 77 hours into that game. Jesus uh, Christ. And uh, I was just like, OK, I'm done. That's it. Done. Can't 77 do hours. 77 hours. Yeah. I mean, that's that's nothing. I mean, Assassin's Creed took me 119 hours. to. No, I know. So. But I mean, I feel like that game does. Elden Ring just came out, though, didn't it? I don't know. I feel like yeah, yeah. it came out oh, February he de- 25th. He definitely went hard in the paint. OK, because, yeah, yeah a whole time he said they were like, I got 60 bucks from Josh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, buddy. 100%. The principle, the principle of the fact was yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm laying in bed like, oh, oh my it. back. And Vash is like, come on. Hold on. God, Amanda, hold on. Hold on. I, I, I can't hold on, baby. I can't. I got, I got, okay, platinum. All right. I, I don't know if I can cue this up in time, but this will be, this will be fun if I can do it. But anyway, what, continue on. What are you cueing? Um, You're the one continuing. I meant We're to do this right last. Remember, I had a thing that was going to do last time, and I totally forgot about it. Now, just like reminded me. So, Amanda, uh, the, the kitchen's on fire. Hold on, hold on. I need five minutes. I got to beat the this dog's got to go quick. out. Hold on, hold real on. Quick. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. I mean, I did. <laughs> I did a bunch of uh, I did I did say uh, a lot Adobe. of those things. Um, I'm gonna have to uh, take the day off today. Um, Definitely uh, did that a few times. <laughs> oh, are you a cheater! Oh, look no, at I, this didn't, guy. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't do uh, days off. But I'm just saying, like I definitely, I definitely played during lunch lunch hour a few times. So <laughs> that's fucked up. I'm tell I'm tell I'm telling the recruiters I know. Frame no, this man don't I'm even ratting. don't even no, actually. You know what? I'm not gonna say that because I I, I I know somebody at Adobe will watch this and be like, oh, Charlie was playing on company time we gotta we gotta talk to hr and dock him for his pay yeah i mean this is all right let's see if this this, i'm i'm gonna switch my can it will switch my mic in real time it won't let me switch my real oh wait hold on are you on a bitch switch i'm on switch switch but i can't uh oh maybe yeah maybe this will work because oh no it totally will work okay um because it's on (laughs) twitch this is what I meant to say, and like I had this as a soundboard. I was gonna push, put it on my Go XLR Mini, but I realized I just couldn't load it. I totally forgot to. But this is my. I'm not Italian whatsoever, but this is like the best thing I was like thinking about. Right here we go on Twitch. Do I have to have my volume up? No. Oh. <laughs> this part. This is what I was gonna go for. I mean, it's. Oh come on. Where's the? Uh, hold on. I gotta switch it. Stop talking. I don't know who's talking. You were Twitch. Anyway, that's what I was going with. <laughs> I love that movie. That movie's so great. That's a great movie. Yeah, well, it's like you that's know, you die movie. so much. I thought it was a fun, uh, a fun little, you know, nod to that. So. You, you burning some incense over there? Yeah, burning Chef? Uh, yeah. Some sage. Burning some sage. Some sage to, to wash time. away the demons. Some time. Yeah. But anyway, uh, yeah, finished with Elden Ring. I uh, had a, a lot of fun with that. I ended up just going a pure strength build at the end of it and just like bonking people. So you ditched people. the faith-based build? I, I did enough to carry uh, faith weapons, but um, I ended up going pure. No, actually, I, that's a lie. I went strength. And I was like, this sucks. And then I went... Uh, when they fixed the arcane scaling weapons, I went. Oh um, yeah, I went um, the stone shield and uh, a spear that has like crazy like blood loss on it. So I just went that route, and that was actually a lot of fun. I was just you could literally just I face tank the boss, the end boss, the whole time. I was just like shield poke poke poke, and um, took a while, but I eventually got it. It was it's crazy when you block um, 
like the the crazy uh, attacks from the end boss, and it chunks like this much health from you. The crazy thing is, if you tried out some of the source builds, it would probably make you like facepalm your yourself into oblivion because some of those spells can like two three shot bosses that are like basically you, you know what i mean like i, I am yeah. avoiding these builds i refuse to do them for my first playthrough because it's too i did the same thing there's like there's like there's one like super sa- like a kamehameha type ability that yeah, literally when Comet you shoot Azor. It, yeah yeah when you shoot it it literally does like constant damage like a like a inferno type ability or something like t- it just ticks damage and it does like thousands of damage and i saw them like two shotting bosses and i'm like yeah i'll do that on like new gate new game plus or something yeah, like so that I, you know i just started new game plus on that and i was thinking about just doing a sorcery build just yeah. for fun um, it's too easy it's actually not a unknown fact that a lot of these these souls born games the sorcery ends up being over over overpowered but the problem with it is and why they don't do it in like speed runs is because it takes a while to set up like you have to like go out and get a different staff you have to go hunt down the spells the different uh scrolls to turn in for certain spells it's just it's just a longer build than it takes to like actually because i've seen all the speedrunners they start out as a samurai and they basically just um, yeah, it has the decks because you need that for the Horfrosh stomp, which I tried for a long time, yep. and that thing was overpowered, so definitely yep. needed the patch. So. Yep, yep. But game is, honestly, man, like, I think it's going to be a while before a better game comes out. Like, in terms of it just being so polished and not having any glitches that I've run into yet. And oh, then... No, there's, yeah. I mean, there's tons of glitches in it. But, I haven't like, run into any yet, but so I mean, well, I, mean, I, I guess stuff. I guess there's mob glitches. You're right. You're right. I guess nothing to the point where it like, um, not like a no man's land or no man's sky or anything. Like, you know, there's no there's no like crazy hiccups around the game. It's, yeah. It was a good launch. Enough that it's fucking broken and shit is what you're saying. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like no, it was I, a I smooth launch. The game. I've had no problems with it. I mean, it's honestly just fun. I mean, it, it is frustrating at times, but that's. That's, that's the point that the game was designed yeah. to be frustrating you know like it's not designed to be an easy game which good thank god like right i saw something the other day somebody was like oh elder rings a dead game it was a huge disappointment because the player base has dropped off by half on steam and the, and people are like it's a single player game like what are you talking about well you also know? i like, remember actually i yeah i know what you're talking about that article wasn't didn't I, so i guess the metrics that use actually weren't even correct anyway yeah based but, I mean, off of whatever steam whatever steam statistics they use it was even like a an, an, uh, an accurate deal. yeah I, I the funny thing that that i saw that was pointed out is like this isn't an mmo game this isn't an online like this is what the, the, this is uh this is what a real video game is like people are are getting used to this other the the marvel strike force L, uh, lost ark you know the swipe uh swipe players yeah like it's just that people are, people are getting way too used to it and they're leaning on it way too heavily you know and i'm so happy they didn't do that with this game yeah because it's just it's it's good to know that there are developers out there that still care about the gamers you know yeah like it's just i just like the fact that they're like you know everyone's crying to go make it easier and they're like nope no nope. how we play our game no nope. sorry this is just how it goes if you ask me i think they made the game the correct difficulty like I, yeah I, I mean yeah I, I agree as somebody who's played a, a, a souls veteran uh i definitely wanted to break my controller multiple times so. yeah but dude, Char- <laughs> dude i'm sorry but like you can like if it <laughs> let's compare this game to bloodborne dude in bloodborne you start off you don't even have a fucking weapon like right. you don't know that you're supposed to die right away like you just walk up to this wolf right at the beginning of the game and you're like uh yeah. Uh, what do I, what do I do? And then you, and then you die and they're like, here, here's a weapon. Now go back and like, okay, where do I go? You know, like, I guess I go over here and kill this guy. And like, do I go over this way? In this game, it's like, there's this big open world. You can go fuck with the, this guy. The fact that we even had like guy. a compass was a, was a big part as well yeah. as a mini map. Yeah. I or mean, not a mini map, but just a map in general. Like, that's crazy. The fact you can teleport <laughs> around between Slights of Grace. It was like people were like that's a huge improvement from the I other games. I don't want to say that the game was actually easier than the others, but I feel like 
all the quality of life additions that they've made to this game, as well as just small features. It's actually the best out of it. It might be the, I don't want to say the easiest, but it's probably the most user friendly out of all of the other games. It definitely is. Yeah. Uh, I, I would say so. The, it does not get easier, by the way. The end, like at the very no, end, like no. I had uh, yeah. 55 uh, Valor or Vigor, and I was just, I'm still getting one shot by enemies. I, I so. saw the, I saw, I don't know which boss it is. I don't know the names because I've seen, I've just seen some of the fights of, I've seen some of the clips on YouTube of like, you know, streamers breaking their controllers so i I absolutely love those those compilations but uh, (laughs) well i saw one boss that has like two swords and just like jumps around and just like does like all kinds of like crazy stuff and people were like freaking out over i was definitely one of like the bosses towards the end of the game but uh yeah Yeah, there's a a few that i was just like could not get past and i was just i but the thing is like i would do it i would play it for like two hours so i couldn't do it i put (laughs) i do something different yeah (laughs) Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so if I, I'm, I finished Elden Ring, all done with that, playing, uh, doing my playthrough of Horizon Forbidden West, and then once I'm done with that, I'm almost done with that game, uh, the story at least. I think I'm like at mission 13 or 14, and I think there's 17 missions in the game. I'm just playing on a story mode. I can't, I don't have fucking time for, for yeah. hard mode anymore. After Elden Ring, I'm just like, uh, That's fair. Um, but now I'm just doing, uh, and then I have Stranger of Paradise, which I will play next, and then, uh, yeah. and then, um, Stan pointed out in in chat that like um, there's Tiny Tina's uh, Wonderland, which I'm actually very excited for, but I'm not the buying it right now. That, that uh, is the that is the Borderlands version of like a like a like a you know magic game, but first person you can you can wield it. magic and it's a shooter first person shooter magic game, whatever. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Oh. Uh, but yeah that's great um that's what i'm playing and that's what i'm looking forward to right now so i'm and i'm just still cranking away in grand Wait, Turismo. are we talking about what we're looking forward to yes transitioning to that because uh we need to talk about that that harry potter state of the play that shit looks awesome i didn't see it, Is it, it looks, looks are awesome. you serious it looks good it looks good no <laughs> microtransactions in the game yeah which is phenomenal i was yeah. like oh they're gonna they're gonna you know, essentially choke everybody out because it's a Harry. It's the only first Harry Potter game out there. So, Skywalker collection, yeah, it looks awesome. I'm why, not really a Lego fan, but like, I don't have any. I, I don't. I don't understand the Lego games, but like everybody, but a lot of people are like super hyped. They're, 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 they're really well made. They're, they're very they're, well made. yeah. It's very tongue in cheek. Very fun. Yeah. What exactly just fun. are they? Are they just like platformer games, or are they? They're, I mean, it depends on which one. But most of the time, they're just like third a, person. Yeah, isometric like, kind of yeah, games. You know. Yeah. Sure, they're, they're, just, they're just well made like you there's just like it's hard to complain about them like you're not going there to like you know play play them in a sweaty manner but they're just like well made fun to play good story like yeah very tongue-in-cheek very cute like fun fun games yeah hmm. uh sony is still doubling down that 2022 is the year of ragnarok of gears or uh, god of war ragnarok so <laughs> i'm just yeah, waiting on uh, any information about that they doubled they, down even yesterday like they're still doubling down on it i don't know i don't know how but. that's gonna man i don't know if god of war Ragnarok comes out in the same year Elden Ring. That's going to be a tough game of the year. Edition. No, it's not going to be fucking tough. Don't, don't listen. Listen, that's sweet of you to say. I'm sure Elden Ring is very good, but don't even fucking act like Elden Ring will be better than God of War Ragnarok. Don't even Ooh, fucking act. Don't I even act. I don't know about that. Don't even act. That'll be, tough. Of, That'll be a tough call. God of, War 4, God of War 4 was a perfect game. Perfect game. God of War 5, but, if it goes on that same trajectory, will also be a perfect game. But Corey Balrog's not directing it. He's only producing it. Who's the director of it this time? Uh, I don't know. But it's someone also at, at Santa Monica Studio, Studios, but it's not Corey Balrog this time. Wait. Yeah. This- That's my only misgiving with it. So it look- he's just, Wait, he's just executive. Sure? Yes, he's just executive producing it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Either Eric way. Williams. Hold on. Wait a second. Can we? Did we just glaze over? Hold on, I I I I skipped out for a second there, but can we talk about Harry Potter for a second? Oh yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, Dude, go for it. Like the fact that they finally are making a game. Okay, so I'm not like the hugest Harry Potter fan. What's the name of it again? Uh, Hogwarts uh, something Legacy. Like Hogwarts Legacy, yeah. I think. Yes. Um, it does not look like a kids' game whatsoever. No. But <laughs> which is dope. 
Uh, I just remember one of the combat scenes, the guy, the kid walked in and like threw somebody up against the wall and then summoned like a big stone sword that went straight through the chest of the enemy. And I'm like, okay, like this is kind of kind of dope, you know, and then they're talking about like, go to class and, you know, learn herbology and learn different spells. And I mean, remember after like the third Harry Potter movie, that shit gets dark very fast. Yeah. I mean, the first Harry Potter movie, even though it's like kind of like com- like comic y, there's like the possibility of children dying. I mean, the second Harry Potter movie, yeah. a child does die. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, you know. So they, but they, um, you know, you're like exploring the castle and exploring the grounds of Hogwarts and exploring like around the castle, the grounds and everything. So, um, game's going to be dope. I uh, think <laughs> it's going to be good. Yeah. It's going to be, it, lo- it looks really good. Like, the, Oh, and it, it takes it takes uh, place way before. Um, what was the what was the because Harry Potter takes place and then the Fantastic Beasts thing takes place before that, right? That's a prequel, yeah. Yeah, well, this would be like a prequel to that. So uh, this takes place like I think I think in the in the state of the play, the guy mentioned that it's like back to the days of Merlin. Maybe I don't know. Like, oh but, shit, okay. I yeah, remember, like, I remember seeing that. I, didn't, yeah, oh, you know, like I only a, saw the announcement video. I didn't see the state of play video. Yeah, I so I watched like the whole thing, and I'm pretty sure he said that. I remember specifically them saying something about how it's taking it back to the time of Merlin, and you might see him is what it kind of indi- indicated. That's cool. But um, the other thing that was cool was when they went up to the world, like the they went up to like a ledge on the edge of the castle and hopped on a broomstick and went out flying in the open world. And uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it checks all the bells and whistles for me of uh, or checks all the boxes for me of uh, an RPG that I'm interested in. And then you have factor in the fact that Harry Potter always has a good, uh, pretty good like world around it. So it'd be pretty cool to like go in, create your character, sit down, have the little sorting hat put on top of you in the Great Hall and, you know, do that whole thing. So I think it's you said really- I'm not a big Harry Potter fan and just like goes to list all the, the intricate <laughs> stuff with Harry Potter. I mean, it's just not like, okay, so like I, I say that because my best friend is has him and his uh, fiance have like matching Harry Potter tattoos and they, you know, they have like the wands and they can like quote that. I, it's just, I, I'm not like that into the movie, but I did enjoy them. Yeah. You know enough to be dangerous. I know enough to be dangerous. <laughs> but there's like people, you know, like when you go to Universal and they're, they're it's like 98 degrees outside and they're rocking freaking Hogwarts robes. And I'm like, that's dedication. Dude, Disney people are my my cousin and her and her mom are insane. They go to Disney every weekend in Florida, <laughs> like in Florida. Like they're like Disney people are. Yeah, Disney people are because that's part of, Hogwarts part of Disney. Uh, the 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 Universal or whatever, right, or whatever the fuck it's called. The, well, they're no, they're not the same, but they're like they're, they're two different parks. Oh well, then never mind then. Sorry, yeah. sorry, Disney people. I don't know. <laughs> Dom Dom's about to get hate mail. <laughs> no. like, how Dom's did you not know? Some, how huh. Dare you? Hilarious, but yeah, that's pretty much all I'm I'm waiting for uh, at this point. I got you know much, I pre-ordered the else, uh, the, Cur- the new Kirby game that's supposed to be. Oh like yeah, apparently uh, it's gonna be good. Yeah, I really want to play it, man. I'm just <laughs> I should probably get that. Actually, <laughs> I'm buried in games right now. You know, like I I don't want to buy anything until I or until I beat Elden Ring. That's yeah. um, I'm I'm waiting. I'm waiting to purchase any additional games until I finish the ones that I'm looking forward to playing. That yeah. includes Tiny Tina's Wonderland because I really want to play that game. But I was like, I'm I'm forcing myself to at least finish uh, to finish Horizon, finish Strangers of Paradise, and then at least finish story mode on Gran Turismo. Yeah, so I got I got yeah. too much other shit to do. Yeah, Kirby's yeah. out already. Stan, I just but, like I I don't I just I had it pre-ordered. I just didn't pick it up because oh, man, I got I <laughs> I told a friend of mine this the other day. But I'm really guilty of buying games on the Switch, playing them for like two or three hours, and then never playing them again. I have like a stack of Switch games that are like that, and it's nothing against the Switch. I think I'm just I I, I don't know. Like maybe Tom said it earlier. I'm a sweaty gamer, so like maybe they just don't appeal to me because they're not as. Uh, no, I, I didn't say. I was saying about you. I was saying no, I think no, no, if no, no, you're no, going into true. it, I I am yeah. a sweaty gamer. Like, but that is the I think that's the reality is that like Elden Ring is a sweaty game. Like you got like really. That like the meme I posted, you know, where it's like, you know, yeah, you can't play very casually. No, like, like I'm here. I am strolling back into the boss for the hundredth time. Not going to change a damn thing. Like that's <laughs> that's that sums it up. 
so well because that's literally how it is. Oh yeah, Tana has some tiny Tina. I'm not playing the game then if he's if he's playing it. Just kidding. Oh yeah, and there, there's another game that Stan is talking about that's on um, the Switch that I actually really want to try called Triangle Strategy, which is uh, basically a variant of a Final Fantasy Tactics type. Like, um, what do you what kind of RPG do you call that? Uh, like tactical, like I guess strategy, tactics, turn based RPG where like you're on the chat, like the, the board, and you can move your units around. Yeah, it's a strategy yeah, RPG like- game. I love them, but I mean, I just I'll probably try it out. Yeah, I mean, it's a good point. I I would I would like to say that I try it out when it goes on sale, but you know, Switch games never go on sale unless they're terrible. Yeah, that's I mean that's the thing about it. So, um, I was hoping to see if they had if PlayStation had released the uh, April update games, like the games that are coming out for free. I don't see it, so I'm guessing it's probably going to go live this week. Um, there is something that happened this week, which uh, I'm very curious about how to do this maybe i'll try it is uh returnal has a multiplayer co-op mode now Mm. returnal returnal that was the like one of the launch games um yeah yeah. for ps5 but i it's essentially it's roguelike uh, super fun i tried platinum that game is rng heavy right try to platinum that game i was just like i did everything except for the thing where you have to like run through and find all the glyphs that randomly spawn and different things i was just like i don't got time for this shit maybe it's like something called I love that, like, when a game comes out, the first thing you do is you look at the trophies to see if you could play it a bit. 100%. 100%. <laughs> just, I love it. It just yeah. cracks well, me up. Well, it's because, like, in my opinion, if I'm going to spend 60 bucks on something, I want to get the most out of it. And to right. me, that's that's how I get the most out of something is, like, I want to be able to do everything in the game that's set up, you know, that the developers want you to, how they want you to play the game or just to see what they've, you know, what challenges they've come up with. It's the same thing with movies. There's, like, watching you know, watching movies on a calibrated screen. I mean, it's not the same, but like, you know, that's like, how do you experience the game based on what the creators wanted you to experience it? So right. that's, that's why I wanted to do it. Yeah. So no, that, that's, that's a fair assessment. Very rarely do I play a game and not look up the trophies and as well as play it just for the story and not try to platinum it. So very rare. Yeah. But, um, but it looks, um, Looks awesome. I mean, mm-hmm. I I need. I'm gonna try it out and, and and try to play Returnal again. But man, that game is so brutal, hard. So, but Dom, um, what are you gonna play, man? I, I I need you to get back into gaming with me, man. Like, come on, what, what's the game gonna be that's gonna get Dom hype about gaming again? I that's think. The well, question, right? Is it like, is it gonna be Diablo Four? Is it gonna be so? I mean, yeah, uh, well, Diablo Four is definitely uh, not this year, unfortunately. Definitely Diablo no, Four. Is that? God of War. Is God of War. Definitely. God of War. If God yeah. of War is this year, they're still saying Metroid Prime uh, Four for this year, um, which I don't know if that's that's. I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I I don't know Diablo Mortal. I'm not, I don't really give too much. I don't. I'm not like oh, I can't wait to play that game. Like if it comes out, I'll probably play it. But I'm like I don't care too it's much about it. It's gonna be a good game to play. Like you know, oh, yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll exist here and there. Me. Yeah, yeah. For me, it'll exist. But yeah, like. If, if God of War, re- <laughs> yeah, yeah, like sum up a game, it'll yeah. exist. It'll exist. If Ragnarok comes out this year, that'll be the biggest thing. But as it stands, I'm just like farting around. If I'm playing a video game, it's really just to pass the time because I don't feel like painting Still playing a three dollar game. Oh yeah, dude, Vampire Slayers. Yo, they just got another update. That that game updates more than some AAA games. That game's updating like weekly at this point. That shit's crazy. There's like a couple new weapons and stuff. Like there's like new like like levels come out. That game's tight. If you haven't played Vampire Slayer, this is really fun. You should give it a shot. It's stupid. It's I just, it's just stupid. I'll, it's I'll silly. It Let's see. You know? All right. What's it? It's on Steam, right? Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, I know I know you and uh, Huge have been playing it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's just, it it's just right silly. Now. I actually, man, I should get a Steam Deck literally to play that on the go. <laughs> I mean, if you can get a Steam Deck, I've had one on order since July. And oh, really? Been able to go. Yeah. I, I, yet, I, so. I put one on order, too, and I never got hit up for mine. Whoa. Oh, uh, and I got you, the cash for it but too. I the nice thing is yeah I have I have the 500 bucks set aside for it um, already in my bank account but um, the nice thing is I don't play many PC games because I sit at my PC all day yeah. I sit in my office all day long for work for like 9 hours a day I don't want to yeah. sit for another 3 hours and play video games yeah. so like, that's why I play console but the fact that I can do Steam Deck on the couch or just put the Steam Deck on my uh on my main tv and i can play with a, a controller or whatever um on the on the on the that or mouse and keyboard for sure i mean i can do that now with um wait it'll be Steam like the Link, switch kind of yeah it is 
Yeah. Right? Oh, I yeah. Did yeah. Not so you know can, that. Yeah. So you can you can you can put a a, a dock. Uh, it'll play on the TV um, wherever you want. So like that's what I'm looking forward to. Uh, and I know I can do that with Steam Link, but Steam Link has some issues um, yeah. that I'm not really excited about. So, but yeah. There's yeah. some cool stuff happening here. So, but I'm, I'm looking at, um, but then there's a lot of things I have oh. like on my wish list on Steam that I would love to play and um, just would love to kind of see what happens with it. I so. just had a random thought hit me. Uh, what about the PlayStation VR with the Harry Potter game? That'd be so much fun. Like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy like, this 2.99 game for you. Just like throwing, just like casting <laughs> spells on people. Every Harry Potter nerd's dream. <laughs> but yes, I can play farm farm simulator from anywhere. Yes, absolutely. So. Farm simulator, farm. Um, anyway, so farm Vash. There is a little bit of news. I know we kind of talked about uh, Returnal a little bit, um, but the the other news that's kind of happening is there's a rumor that PlayStation or Sony, I would say, is about to announce their subscription base, a new subscription base model for oh, yeah. stuff. I don't remember what the, what they're calling it, or whatever. But that's apparently supposed to be coming out. Um, what their equivalent of the. Uh... It's like combining now and some other things. Um, they're giving more they're essentially revamping PlayStation now which is which has had a little bit of less yeah it sucks yeah you know, exactly you, so they're, you they're just re- it. it's terrible yeah they're just revamping it and making it a little bit easier um for people to get into but i hope they keep it separate from PlayStation Plus because i mean i don't really need to rent retro games or anything stuff but it'd be kind of fun sure. just to try you know but i mean i like PlayStation Plus i mean you get so much value out of PlayStation Plus and it's insane yeah so because you essentially get a free ps5 game if two free ps4 games and sometimes a psvr game which is just that's just that's just a shit ton of money that you yeah. just get for free for or not for free but like you know it costs five bucks a month yeah whatever they to cost have to it's that. insane it's it's ridiculous so well you and, also and, have to have playstation plus if you want to play online with your homies so yeah so it's, you might as well you might as well have but i know people who don't have PlayStation playstation plus because they don't do multiplayer or whatever but i was like dude if you can spend 60 bucks a year or you can even get them black friday deals for like 40 bucks a year um sometimes when they pop up i just get them and then you just apply it to your account and it just extends your yeah you know, whatever yeah uh, it's very great it's Should a great I, get, I got bloodborne for free on playstation plus that's how yeah. i that that was the first game i played before dark souls 2 and I I'd ran, I had it on my PlayStation. I was like, what is this? And I tried it out one night. I mean, The Last of Us. <laughs> like, there's been so many good games on there. Yeah. Yeah. So there, there's just a lot of stuff that's there. And um, I'm very excited to dive in stuff. Like, that's why my, my backlog keeps growing exponentially because i just i just add every new game to my my library <laughs> right. and eventually play it like i really want to play ghostwire tokyo but i just have so many other games to play right now so it's in the game from march but yeah anyway uh if you guys don't have anything else i think it's going to end it for us right there so oh sorry june i just scared my cat sorry uh, anyway, that'll do it for us. Thank you all for coming out. Uh, as always, you can find us on, on Instagram at og.podcast or Twitter's over Cheevers P. Our website is ogpodcast.fm where you get this episode and every episode where we're talking about what we're playing, what we're looking forward to, and a little bit of chef gaming news. Chef, chef backpack news. Backpack? I'm looking at backpacks. I'm in back. Back pain. Never mind. Just right. back pain. That's right. Old back That's right. We got a new backpack. Stuff. Here for the hot back backpack news. Call <laughs> it your boy, Chef Grondo. I was literally looking at a new backpack, and as I said that, I meant to say back pain, and it said backpack. So that's <laughs> check yeah. in for your Jansport, all your uh, Timbuktu, yeah. Timbuktu, Timbuktu, all your yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. What are the bear pants? Are there? <laughs> Got anyway, back, uh, got the hot backpack news. Make sure you if you if you're not watching us live already, make sure you you hit that um, notification bell and the follow on twitch.tv slash OG Podcast. Oh look, there's us too. Say look bye June. Bye June. Bye June. Bye June. Um and, and also make sure you come follow us and hang out with us at Discord and Discord.me slash OG Podcast. Pretty much OG Podcast is everything around the world. Um, I'm trying to see if we can get some more OG podcast type stuff so we'll see oh, interesting. i'm trying like, i'm going like for it podcast dots, shirts the world. Yeah, i mean I, I don't i mean Socks. i could i could make some shirts and i need no to one's a, ever asked for it so Chambers gaming hoodie i will make you know i will make us some OG podcast hoodies and some hats because i could i mean i wear a rock hats all the time so I mean, I, i'm not bad i'll get us some hoodie. stuff maybe i'll do that um while i'm on the plane 
We need to get Coming Dom to and from uh, OG LA. Podcast Gee. Yo. <laughs> All right. Don't even front. That one got him. Don't even front. I'll wear it. I'll wear it. I wear it in competition. Yo. There we go. Anyway. All right. Thank you all very much. We'll see you all next time. Uh, until then, enjoy, stay safe, and be an overachiever. Like Charlie. Look at the games. Yeah. Wait, you get Plan, playing how he's playing in the Elden Ring like, for 70 <laughs> hours. I've made more from I've made more from Chef than I have from Twitch in the past year. So there That's you go. That's funny. You know what? You know what's funny? I, I actually got a random one hundred dollar payout from Twitch like two weeks ago. That's how that happens, baby. I, I, you, well, I, it's only because you only get paid from Twitch when you hit up a hundred dollars. I know, but yeah. like I, yeah. I don't stream, so like I don't. It, who knows the last time you got a sub? Maybe it been, was the last one. I don't know. I I don't know. I just thought it was so funny. I was like, I'm, I'm like, I opened up my PayPal and I was like. How do I have a hundred dollars in here? Like, what the hell? That's funny. All right, guys, I got split. Thanks. All right, I'll see you guys. I wish you gotta stand, gotta gotta stand. I'm just not, you know, I'm not even gonna do shoutouts. Uh, thanks, everybody. I can't even fucking talk. Yeah, Pete. See you later, backpacks.